What's going on traders? Welcome back to Atlas Options channel. Today we'll look at Scientia indicator and how to use it for price projections. Buckle up, we take off. Tired of sitting in front of your computer for hours, trying to catch profitable trades? Say goodbye to the stress, and hello to our state-of-the-art trading robots. Whether you are trading Forex, crypto, stocks or binary options, Atlas iBots will notify you when your desired price action is about to realize. Just connect your custom indicators to the bots, tune the settings, and the robots will do all the hard work for you. You don't have to be a programmer, nor have any coding skills, with our user-friendly interface, you can create, test and implement your trading strategies with ease, saving you valuable time and reducing the risk of errors. Atlas iBots provides you with access to a vast range of risk and money management controls, data analysis tools, and backtesting capabilities, ensuring that you have everything you need to create profitable strategies. Never miss a profitable opportunity again. Let our robots work for you around the clock, even when you're sleeping. Scientia Indicator is designed to generate signals for scalping on the 5-minute, 15-minute, and 1-hour timeframes. To enhance its precision, traders are advised to employ a technique known as double confirmation. In the first confirmation stage, check the underlying trend to ensure that trades are always executed in line with the trend. Once the direction of the general trend is ascertained, proceed to the second confirmation stage, and ensure that the market is either overbought or oversold. By utilizing the two confirmations, the likelihood of a profitable trade is increased. Let me show you exactly how it works. First off, the background of the indicator panel tells you the direction of the current trend. As you can see, if the background of the indicator is blue, that means the current trend is up. On the other hand, if the background is red, that means the trend is down. And this ability of the indicator to detect the underlying trend is very important. Because this way, you can be sure you always trade with the general trend, and not against it. Now that you've identified the general trend, check if the indicator detected overbought or oversold condition of the market. Whenever the indicator detects that the market is oversold, it gives you a buy, blue, signal. But to increase probability, only consider this signal valid if the background of the indicator is blue. That means, the general trend is up. In other words, if the background is blue, only buy signals are considered valid. And we'll ignore all sell signals. Whenever the indicator detects that the market is overbought, it gives you a sell, red, signal. But to increase probability, only consider this signal valid if the background of the indicator is red. That means, the general trend is down. If the background is red, only sell signals are considered valid. And we'll ignore all buy signals. Scientia indicator can work with and complement your existing trading strategy. That said, here is an example of how you can use it. This is only a starting point. So, take this strategy, add your own ideas, test it and make it your own. This is the only real way to become a profitable trader in the long run. Step 1. Switch to a higher time frame, like 4 hour, and use the Scientia indicator to determine the trend, on this higher time frame. In this example, the background of the indicator is red, indicating that the trend on the 4 hour time frame is down. So we're only looking for selling opportunities. Step 2. We switch to the 15 minute time frame, and use the indicator to determine the current trend on this time frame. As you can see, on the 15 minute time frame, the background of the indicator panel is red. This means the trend on this 15 minute time frame is also down. That's exactly what we want to see. Now, the next step is important. We only take the trade, if the signal occurs in the London session, or US session. We would not take the trade in the Asian session. So, the first sell signal in this example shows up in the Asian session. That's why we would ignore it. The second sell signal shows up in the US session. And we would trade this short trade. Now that we're in a trade, we need to set our stop loss and take profit levels. We set our stop loss at 1.5 times the average true range, ATR, from our entry price. And our profit target would be 2 times our stop loss. For example, if the ATR value for the 15 minute time frame is 10 pips, then we set our stop loss 15 pips away from our entry price. And our profit target would be 2 times 15 equals 30 pips. As I said, this is only a starting point. Take this strategy, add your own ideas, test it on demo, and make it your own. On the way out, please do me a favor, hit the like button, make sure you get subscribed, 
hit notification bell to stay up to date. Also make sure you check out the links in description to support the channel. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.